guys, it's Amy Cho, your golf coach. We're out at the beautiful Lake Nona Golf and Country Club, and we're going to talk about the flop shot today. I have a 58 degree lob wedge in my hand, and we're gonna use our imagination and bring that edge of the green closer to the flag. So let's pretend we only have like 10 feet of green to work with. We know flop shots are really not the most reliable shot in the bag, but there are situations where you absolutely have to get it up in the air and stop it on the dot. So it's good to have that technique in the bag so you can use it any emergency situation you come across. So let's go through the basics first. We're gonna go ahead and open that club face first to about one, two o'clock, super, super lofted that way. And then we're gonna go ahead and grip down on it. I never want to see you guys opening the face by press, pressing your hands forward this way. This is not opening the club face exactly. So go ahead and rotate and then grip down. Gripping down is going to give you great control over that club head. So it's really good to do that on your short game shots. So when you add loft onto the club face like that, now the ball's going to travel higher, which means shorter, and it's going to roll out less. So we're losing a lot of distance. So we're gonna have to end up making a lot bigger swing. So to accommodate that bigger swing, we're gonna go ahead and widen our stance to give it better stability almost like a bunker shot, right? So wider stance and then the ball position kind of differs depending on the slope. Right now I'm gonna put it about two golf balls left of the middle of my stance. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the weight about 60 to 70% in the lead foot and maintain it throughout the backswing as much as possible. We don't want to be rocking back and forth when we're doing a delicate shot like this, easy to hit it fat or thin. So that's the basic setup. And then when you're hitting, you want to make sure you're hitting it like a bunker shot, meaning you're utilizing the bounce. So you'll be hitting down into the ground rather than helping it up. So down into the ground looks like this. Boom, thumping that bounce into the ground as opposed to like helping it up. That's a big no-no. It can cause a big skull across the green. We don't want that. So down into the ground is what we're going to focus on. There is one more bonus tip before we start hitting. It's the scooping. We're gonna add scoop into that. So I have a spoon right here. You're going to pretend like you're scooping ice cream. Boom, that's the motion. You're scooping ice cream. If you understand that, let's try it with the club. So let's focus on the club face and you are scooping. So you're adding loft, you're adding loft. So from where you started, you're going to add even more loft, giving you higher height and less run on the green. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm going to have to land it about 10 yards, but I have to swing it almost like I'm hitting a 20 yard shot because of the added loft. Wait on the left, scoop through. And when you're scooping through, just make sure to get your body moving through all the way. A lot of times when amateurs are starting to scoop for the first time, the body freezes up and you only concentrate on the scooping. And this can really cause a lot of fat and scald misses. So remember, you are scooping and turning that body through. To work on your flop shot, please remember the basics in the setup and then two things during the swing, hitting down like a bunker shot and scooping through. I hope you enjoy the tip. If you have any questions and comments, please leave them down below.